ericmwathithmwather.com. Let's take a look at the weekly chart for EWZ. This is a two-year weekly chart. And what we're going to be looking here is taking the concept of failed breakouts and successful support. And I know this is oversimplification, but we're just trying to hammer a point. All right, let's take a look here. There was a break, breakout, excuse me, that failed. And after that failed breakout, of course, we can see we drop. We have another failed breakout attempt here. Once it fails, you can see the reaction to it. There's another breakout attempt here that fails. And of course, we are still suffering the consequences of that failed breakout. Now, on the other hand, we have periods of successful support. Here we can see that the market failed to drop below that range. After repeated attempts to break down, ultimately you recover. Here we can see that we never broke this low. And as a consequence of that, we went higher. We can see the same thing here. After repeated attempts to break down, we hold and we recover. So yes, this is oversimplification, but we can see visually what happens when there is a failed breakout and also when we get successful tests of lows and they hold, we get a reaction or move to the upside. And actually we can also see that, for example, if we take this period here where we recently broke down, we can also see the consequence of a failed support attempt here we fail to hold and because of that we can see that we've dropped below actually substantially since the break of this support here so there you have it support levels and breakout levels can determine the next meaningful swing trade direction eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i see s Woo! yeah